Hey, spiritual superstar. So if you're awake, meaning you have experienced or are experiencing what we call spiritual awakening, it just means that you have really um, started to be tapped into this other life that has always been happening. And it's just your untapped, your unlimited potential that God is really uh, waking you up to. So you might be receiving some signs, some messages, a lot of synchronicities, and just the aversion towards the way you've been doing life and the way things have just been going on in your life, including relationships, um, jobs, behavior, things like that. So if you've noticed that you are in this way of life and everything is starting to come at you like you feel like you have to get so much done in such a short amount of time this is the video for you i'm nicole Henri v founder of spiritual guidance academy where we help you master your spiritual gifts learn all about spiritual guidance and how to hear from the most high i am a spiritual problem solver and one of those problems that i really like to solve is how to help you deal with the overwhelm of spiritual awakening because honey it can be extremely overwhelming but it doesn't have to be the first thing i'm going to do is give you the best tool that you can use is my book i wrote the book the way that i approach my private coaching sessions except those are always confidential and private your book is private too and so remember it's your book it's your guidebook it's not to be in everybody's eyeballs you and our creator okay that's it gift the book to someone that you're trying to explain what's happening to you what whoever you want to wake up and you just can't beat it in their brain and people that just don't get you give them a copy of the book. I talk to them too and I share what's going on with you and I explain for you because the overwhelm that you're feeling is real. And the last thing you need to do is worry about trying to explain it to someone else when you're trying to figure it out for yourself. So the book is Seven Steps to Master Any Spiritual Awakening. Now I gotta tell you, I look forward to seeing your review. Um, I prefer you get it from Amazon, but wherever you get it from, please go ahead and leave me a review. The book is designed so that you can ask your human the questions that you need to ask your human in order to get through your awakening without the stress that you probably are feeling right now. So let me just dial it back. You are the dual being in your beautiful self. You're the soul be inside of you're human. You have awakened to that fact. You are the soul that has been living inside of this human vessel, your body that has lived on autopilot and you have let it happen. And now that you have w woke up, you are now aware that, oh my gosh, what have I done? I've got stuff to do. I didn't come here to just go to a job and come home. I am not on this planet to live my life according to someone else's standards. And so all of these things start coming in. I am not going to settle for who wants to be with me when I know that I have dreams and desires and standards, values, requirements, all of these things are coming into focus. And it may not even involve anyone else. It may be the fact that you wanna lose 50 pounds. It may be the fact that you want to, um, you want to accomplish this bucket list. You want to complete the things on this new bucket list that you just came up with. And before you didn't even know you had a bucket list, that you wanted to uh, complete so that's one side of it and when you when you look at that and you just break that apart and just even not even try to process it but you just look at it and see it for what it is 
that can be really overwhelming because where do you start? How do you start? What is it that you're supposed to be doing? And how do you even figure that out? So get the book. The book will absolutely help you understand um, the steps that I'm going to roll through right now. This is how you want to avoid the overwhelm of spiritual awakening. Okay. The first step is awareness. Spirit has made you aware of some things in your life that have always been there, but now you're at the point that you cannot ignore it anymore. The Holy Spirit, our creator that lives inside of you, me, everyone else, has now awakened you to this alarm. And this alarm says you've got to get something done. You either have to break up with someone or you have to start this new job in a new industry. You either have to leave that industry and start your own business. You have to change careers and really do something that is um, helping the collective uh, in whatever way that is for you. And there's this thing. And so you're aware of it. That's step number one. When you're aware of it, you're going to be receiving synchronicities, messages. We call that spiritual guidance. And you're going to be getting those downloads from the spirit realm, such as hearing a statement come out of the clear blue sky and seeing orbs and uh, hearing angels or seeing energies while you're in the shower. You're going to be seeing lost souls. You're going to see people that are not human, but they are energy and you're the only one seeing them. You're going to feel pretty darn sensitive in crowded spaces and you might just want to isolate because all this is going on and it's very overwhelming and you want to you want it to just stop so the first step is awareness that all of this is happening that you have now woken up to this overwhelming sense of urgency to do something great and it's far outside of yourself, right? I mean, it's really something that is, I want to change all of humanity. I want to be the change that I want to see. I want to um, really impact the world. The second stage is detachment. What are you detaching from? The Spirit's going to be showing that to you. And Spirit is God, the Most High, the Universe. Divine Source is going to be showing you after you're already aware that this is happening, what exactly do you not need anymore? It could be a relationship. It could be the relationship you have with self and you could need to do your shadow work. We'll talk about that in a whole nother video. But you could also be detaching from your sense of obligation. It could have been self-imposed towards your family even your spouse, children, grown children, that now you realize they need to get up out your house and you need a life that you, you want. You want your own life back. Or it could be that um, you're an empty nester instead of sitting around like you don't have a life. Now you're like, what do I really like to do? Well, I love to do this and that. You could very well be waking up to the fact that you've worked at a job or you've been in a career your whole life 30 years and you're just like I don't want to do this anymore like I love it but I don't love it I want to do something different that's fulfilling on a soul level um, and it just may be something else but it's there's a detachment there that spirit is saying I want you to loosen the grip on this over here it could be your sense of control you know needing to control a situation but whatever it is it's going to be quite clear that causes um, fear and you so the next stage the third step is vulnerability you have to be vulnerable in order to soften that grip loosen that grip and when you are vulnerable you're able to listen and humble yourself to the most high and really understand that okay I am in an awakening that's causing me to look at my whole entire life that is way bigger than what I thought it was when I was living on autopilot every day and now I want to connect with my ancestors I want to 
go into my spiritual path, my spiritual journey. Maybe you're on a vision quest. Maybe you really have never associated with your legal name, your birth name, and you want to go into your birth right. And so that means you are changing your name to what you feel most comfortable with and what you're hearing come from the, the ethers, from the air. Um, or synchronistically you're seeing this this word or this name and you know that you identify with it so there's a vulnerability that needs to happen right so we've got awareness detachment vulnerability the fourth step and this is all in my book the seven steps to master any spiritual awakening is enlightenment you have this aha moment of whoa this is the real this is the truth oh my gosh you have this aha moment of some stage in your life and it could be that oh my gosh this isn't the person i'm supposed to marry oh my gosh oh my gosh um i don't need to take any more drugs oh my gosh i'm done with alcohol oh my goodness um i think i really want to get married wow this is the love of my life or, oh my goodness, uh, I don't want to do this job anymore. I love to sew and I want to be a, uh, I want to open my own um, store. I want to make my own clothes and sell them and all of that. It could be whatever, but it is an aha moment that is specific to you because it's your spiritual awakening that you're experiencing. And spirit is waking you up to the reason you're here or this other dream. Um, this manifestation that needs to happen now okay so the aha moment now it doesn't mean that you will know exactly everything that's going on when you have the aha moment or enlightenment but it does mean that you will definitely be um, aware of your next step so it's really important that you know how to follow it and capture it and um, process it all at the same time and um, go forward the, the key here is that you're still going to be jumping between the steps, okay? So awareness, detachment, vulnerability, enlightenment, and now it's time to either accept where you're at or not. Here's the part where you are usually going to go back to awareness, detachment, vulnerability, because you need to accept that there's no turning back. You're awake. You can't act like you're not anymore. You know this world in a whole different vibrancy. You're very uh, attuned with the universe. You're seeing messages. You're hearing statements. You're seeing um, messages from people you're having a verbal conversation with, but you're hearing a totally different conversation between you and that person, meaning you're picking up on their energy. Because remember, your energy, their energy, we're all energy. And now that you're awake, you're tuned in and you're tapped in. Because you decided that, you know what, I've been asleep all this time and I've been letting my human call the shots and my human has been getting the shots by society or people that are telling us how to live our life and that's not going to work anymore. Mm -mm. So now I'm awake, I'm alert, and let's get this party started. So you're either going to accept that or you're not. And if you don't, it's okay. It takes a t it takes time. Process, you know, it's it's but you still feel that sense of urgency but that's the stage you're at is acceptance you're either going to go in that direction or not the direction you're going in is quite clear at that point so step six is take action so remember you're jumping between the steps and we go all we go over all of that in the book seven steps to master any spiritual awakening but once you're at step um six you're taking action and now you're okay with it and that's what brought you here so now you're seeking and you're like well you know what i know i want my own business i want to use my spiritual gifts how do i do that well you contact nicole Henri v founder of spiritual guidance academy well you know i think i want a reading but i want an accurate reading and i just want to know what i should do now i'm at that point in my life you contact nicole Henri v of spiritual guidance academy so that you can get an accurate reading from the most high and you might be saying you know what uh anything but it's your life and remember that but the point is you're taking action in the direction that spirit is leading you in and that's important the seventh step is confirmation so you need that confirmation from the most high 
that you are doing what you're supposed to be doing. You are supposed to be going into this new path, this new industry. You are supposed to be starting your business at night while you're working your full-time job. You can also be like one of my private coaching clients did, totally uprooted herself and moved to the opposite side of the world and made it very successful and um and we did a reading and her whole family her friends were telling her she was stupid flat out that was the terminology they used it was very rude it was very disrespectful but they were more concerned about her uprooting and failing and just not making it and she was going by herself well her reading said the complete opposite and I channeled the messages I was getting from the most high God and told her it's a go and she went and she is living her best life and so things like that happen in your spiritual awakening so when you get confirmation you are asking the most high not your neighbor not your mama not your daddy not your kid not your spouse even you're asking the most high first and foremost and then here's what happens God will send you your spiritual guidance through the way that you can receive it. It could be through your dreams, visions, epiphanies. You can receive the message from your spouse that says, you know what, I agree with you. Let's do it. I'm all in. You've got my support. You could receive um, three messages from Facebook posts that say exactly where you planned on going and it's all telling you why you should go. You could receive the total opposite of you better not do it. This is an absolute no, 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 no. And you want to know that but you got to follow it too. You know, we've all been there. We receive our spiritual guidance. Our angels are like, red flag, red flag, turn back. And we're just like, oh, go? Okay, that's a yes. <laughs> it's a total no. So those are the seven steps to master your spiritual awakening and get the book and it will help you. You can get the book on Amazon. Remember, I would love to see your review. So I'm going to thank you in advance for giving me the review and letting me know how the book works for you. Seven Steps to Master Any Spiritual Awakening. Well, thank you. And hey, check us out in our group coaching. You can um, become a member for $1.99. $1.99. So in your awakening, you need that support. And you won't receive any judgment where we are. You can also find us on Facebook in our group, private group, Spiritual Guidance Academy. Um, but head on over to spiritualguidanceacademy.com. Look into our group coaching. We start 2021 very, very soon. And I want you on board because I want to support you and um, everyone else there will too. We are a supportive family and I thank you. All right. I'll see you soon. Mwah. Love you.